In the headlines, nine-time Calypso Monarch Dice failed to make it 10 this year as Jude J.D. Delaunay takes the coveted title. I Enjoy My Life makes Charles Sawa Sawa Isaac the undisputed road march king for 2020. And Prime Minister Skerry joins other CARICOM heads who oppose enhanced US sanctions against Cuba. I am Andrea Louis with the Channel 5 News, back with the details after this. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Hey, what are you doing? I do now monthly budget, baby. <laughs> oh, don't forget to pay my school fee on Friday. So you're up to your neck in debt and just can't seem to catch a break. We get it. Higher purchase and payday loans charge high interest rates. It's a good idea to consolidate these loans. It will result in lower interest rates and lower monthly installments. In many cases, consolidations can reduce your installment by as much as 50%. Here at National Bank, let us reduce your debts and consolidate your loans. Call us at 255-2337 or visit us at any of our branches. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Thank you for staying with us. First up, history has been written in the Calypso books as Dominica has a new Calypso monarch. Julian Morris has that story. Jude J.D. Delaunay, who made his debut on the Calypso scene in 2014, won the prestigious Calypso monarch title over the weekend. J.D. says this win was a result of hard work. I'm just elated, man. I'm just ecstatic right now. I mean, from 2014 to now is a big improvement and two great songs. We did it, yeah, Lapwet, all my fans, call you, everybody, um, yeah, yeah, ACS, my sponsors, ACS and doing the. Give us an idea of how much work went into winning the title tonight. Well, I mean, I will just say, when, when you have great songs, the work is easier. You can see everything happening even before it happens, so. Yeah, he's just putting it into effect and that was it, yeah. Do you think more women should be involved in the Calypso art form? I mean, certainly everybody should get involved because it's our culture and it speaks about things happening in Dominica, social ills, whether it's politics, it's just a social, the whole social vibes over the time period between one um, competition to the next. So, yeah, everybody should get involved and, I mean, you're living in a society, right? So you have to do it. The songs which saw JD winning the title were Do Complain and Mama This Is Mass.
Second place went to Tasha P. Peltier, who performed All Hands on Deck and Treadmill. Third place was copped by Webster Webb Marie with his renditions Enemies of Waitukubuli and Curse of the Monarchy. While fourth place went to Fitzroy Bingo Leon, who performed George's Workshop and Country Before Self. Meantime, another history maker in this year's Calypso Finals has vowed to come back stronger next year. St. Lucian National Fitzroy Bingo Leon made history by being the first St. Lucian to go straight to the finals from eliminations. He also further added to this achievement by being placed in the top four. Speaking to Channel 5 News after the competition, Bingo says participating in Dominica's Calypso competition was quite the experience. My first attempt in Dominica, um, you know, it's, it's, it was an experience. Um, having to go through the, through the eliminations and quarters and that sort of thing and then placing in the top four. It was quite an experience and I'm looking forward to doing it again. So next year you're on for sure? <laughs> Once I'm in Dominica. <laughs> okay, great. Give us an idea of the level of work that went into your preparations from eliminations all the way to the final. Well, boy, quite a lot, you know, because some of it was new to me. Um, I didn't know what it was going for an elimination process. And to become a new member of the association, I had to go through an elimination process, despite of all my experience and singing Calypso for so long. But that's what I had to do, that's what I had to do. Where I come from, we do two songs in every round of competition. Um, here we're only doing one round, we're in the finals, doing the second song. And I was kind of prepared with a second song, just waiting in the circumstances. So it was simply a matter of the two weeks after the semifinals, putting things together, trying to get a, an appropriate presentation and that sort of a thing. Bingo plans to incorporate what he's seen and learned along the way to come back stronger in 2021. As I move along, I'm going to try to adapt to that, 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 that style. In terms of when I say style, in terms of the manner of writing, you know, and that sort of a thing. Because you get the impression that, okay, I did two slow songs. Um, what's happening there, the two top spots with a fast and a slow. So, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a learning experience and it's something you have to adapt to and take it from there and go from strength to strength. From what I'm seeing, you almost almost a must for you to have a political song. In whatever way, form or fashion that you decide to do it. And I came into the competition vowing not to go into a political, uh, a political song. So it's not a matter of not being able to do. <laughs> it was simply a matter of trying not to get too involved in the politics in Dominica. At least first time around, get my feet wet and that sort of a thing. The 2020 Road March King has officially been named. Julian Morris has more. Charles Saw Saw Isaac, who referred to himself as the undisputed Road March King throughout the season, was declared Road March winner 2020 by the Dominica Calypso Association on Wednesday. His popular song, I Enjoy My Life, has been hitting the airwaves since the start of the Calypso season and dominated the street parades on Monday and Tuesday. President of the Dominica Calypso Association, Davidson the Observer Victor, gave the top three most played Calypsos on the road for the carnival. And the results came from the tally from the judges that we had um, placed in different um, areas of the carnival route. And this is the result that um, once again, Sawa Sawa has emerged as the winner for 2020. So Sawa Sawa is the Calypso Road Match Monarch for 2020. He had 157 plays, followed by JD with 147 plays, followed by Tasha P in third place with 141 plays. So once again, congratulations to the Sawa Sawa for winning the 2020 Calypso Road Match. Here is a snippet of I Enjoy My Life being played on Carnival Monday.
So Sawa also won the road march title in 2019 with Grinder. In other developments, a series of measures to be implemented to ease the traffic congestion in the city of Roseau. Chief of Police Daniel Carbon made the announcement recently. We will be moving very quickly to ensure that parking will be permitted on one side of the street in certain streets in the city of Roseau. Hillsborough Street is a very narrow street and Hillsborough Street cannot accommodate parking on both sides of the street. And so we'll be demarcating one side of that street only for parking. And the other side will be for no parking. We're going to put up signs, keep clear signs on the southern side of Hillsborough Street. The entire length of that street on the southern side. Hanover Street and King George V Street will also be impacted by similar measures. Hanover Street is of concern to us, especially in the vicinity of KFC and the Rosso Market. We are again going to take measures there to ensure that traffic congestion is alleviated in that area. On King George V Street, we're going to make one side parking only on King George V Street. And so I'm, I'm, I'm asking, I'm pleading to the general public to cooperate with the police. You are watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Maladi HIV in your maladi sex you want. Si ou pa protege ko low can e sex e plizia mou. Sakai mete la view a godaje. Ou ka expose tout patna ou poison e ka taki ka vini e maladi ya. Seve yo condom chak fwa ou ka ni sex. Change ki i e potan pou dekouve maladi ya pou ne. Ou sa viv a bon soti mem si ou ni maladi HIV. Pou e wè skon sa piti, proteje ko ou e pili zot. Examine ko ou. home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Welcome back. Prime Minister Skerritt has joined other CARICOM heads of government who have reiterated concern over enhanced U.S. sanctions against Cuba. Under Title III of the Helms-Burton Act, the United States has strengthened its economic, commercial, and financial embargo against Cuba. The heads denounced as unjustifiable the application of laws and measures of an extraterritorial nature that are contrary to international law. Heads of government also expressed their deep appreciation uh, for the medical assistance provided by Cuba to member states of the community over the years and help, that helped build the health 
sectors to, to the benefit and well-being of our people. The heads of government also acknowledge that of their own first knowledge, the person sent had added tremendous value to helping our citizens. The heads of government rejected the statement that this medical assistance given by the Cubans was a form of human trafficking. Uh, we felt that the assistance that we've been getting from Cuba by way of the medical uh, personnel could not be considered uh, to be human trafficking of any form. Prime Minister Skerritt says the heads also discussed and took a decision in relation to concerns expressed by the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos over an influx of Haitians because of the political climate in Haiti. But we all accepted the situation cannot continue uh, with no uh, intervention um, on the part of CARICOM. And in that regard, we've agreed uh, to dispatch a team of senior officials led by the Secretary General, Ambassador Larocque, uh, to visit Haiti and to meet with all relevant stakeholders so that we can find um, some kind of, first of all, to know exactly what's happening on the ground, engaging stakeholders, but also seeking to devise a strategy of how CARICOM can assist Haiti in resolving this issue. Because if we, it is felt that if we do not help address the domestic issue confronting Haiti, we will continue to have tremendous negative impacts on countries like the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas, um, who are seeing a, a, a large number of, of um, migrants coming in uh, to these countries and, and creating some some domestic challenges for them. The goal is to find a lasting solution for Haiti, where a political impasse between the president and opposition has left the country without a functioning government. The country is entering its second year with a caretaker government, and its economy is forecast to sink deeper into recession. And Dominica's Tia Lafour has made history as the first OECS woman to hit the Tokyo 2020 mark. Julian Morris explains. The Commonwealth of Dominica has stepped and jumped up out to the forefront of the push for participation in the 2020 edition of the Olympic Games with top female triple jumper making minimum standards for this year's showcase. Turning 26 in April, Thea Lafleur reset her organization of Eastern Caribbean State's women's record in February, clearing 14.33 meters at the 2020 University of Albany Winter Classic competition in New York. That mark puts the 1.73 meters tall University of Maryland graduate in pole position to return to the Olympics, having previously competed at Rio 2016. For this iteration of the Summer Olympics in Tokyo, 24th July to 9 August, the qualification system for athletics has been tweaked by global governing body, World Athletics. Qualification standards have been set, but there will also be a maximum field. In other words, no more than a certain number of athletes will be entered in each event, based on the world rankings at a particular cut-off date. In any case, Lafont should be safe, Dominica's first and only Commonwealth Games medalist with a 13.92 meters bronze in triple jump at Gold Coast 2018. Lafont is ranked 21st in the world. A total of 32 athletes will be entered for women's triple jump. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. 
keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flow. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. To end the news, the headlines again. Nine-time Calypso Monarch Dice fails to make it 10 this year as Jude J.D. Delaney takes the coveted title. I Enjoy My Life makes Charles Sour Sour Isaac the undisputed road march king for 2020. And Prime Minister Scurry joins other CARICOM heads who oppose enhanced US sanctions against Cuba. Feel free to access or pass the newscast on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Andrea Louis. And to all of our viewers around the world, thank you so much for watching. Join us tomorrow.